is a sanctioned USWA heavyweight title bout scheduled for one fall and 30 minutes in time. First introducing the challenger, went in at 250 pounds from New Chicago. Here is the Dream Machine. His opponent, the USWA heavyweight champion, wrestling out of Memphis, Tennessee, at a weight of 220 pounds. Brian Christopher! Local! 30 minutes in time, USWA heavyweight title, and Kevin Christen is referee. Okay, Dave, we got a uh, television time of one fall, 30 minutes, with the belt at stake. Brian Christopher unstraps it, and Dream Machine would sure like to strap it on as the referee takes it, and we're about ready to go. We got the belt set, the two opponents. Brian Christopher defending against the Dream Machine. We're off and running. Looking forward to this one. Brian Christopher, they didn't just hand him that championship belt. He earned it. At one time, he had about three belts to his credit. Now he has the one which he considers very important, the USWA heavyweight title. I tell you what, though, he's confident. Even against a guy like the Dream Machine, you see that confidence of Brian Christopher coming through. Yeah, we hope that uh, he has the wisdom to go with the confidence to be able to know when to be on the lookout because this dream, one hard-nosed son of a gun, no question. Yep, he has been known to uh, go to the bag of tricks a time or two and uh, find some that are not necessarily in line with the rule book. They attacked right in the center of the ring. Brian thought about hair pulling, didn't do it. Sent the Dream into the ropes, and a nice arm drag coming off of there, and the Dream Machine says, oh, wait a minute, he hates so much tight, referee. Yeah, be sure and tell him how he worked on those tight Dream. Brian Christopher holding his ground, saying, come on up and get it. Yeah, we sure saw it, Dream, you betcha. We saw exactly what happened, and he did not pull his tights. It was a nice, clean takedown, I think. Dream Machine perhaps was surprised by the force of which uh, Brian was able to use to take him down. In case you just joined us, Dave Brown, Lance Russell with a big smile today. USWA title underway with Dream Machine and Brian Christopher. We also have a U.S. ladies title with Debbie Combs will be defending her title. And we've got the king and the hot stuff, Eddie Gilbert, and a single match coming up also. It's quite a day for the USWA. We're glad to have you back with us here today. In case you uh, don't know, Lance is going to be joining us quite often on USWA Championship Wrestling, and we're thrilled about it. Looking forward to that as we weren't able to be here. We were out of town doing that little vacation routine last week. Side headlock. Brian Christopher takes a shot right to the throat, it looked like, from this side. The referee, unfortunately, had a couple of bodies in the way. The whip, the dream into the corner. <laughs> he missed that one big time, and Brian takes advantage of it. That's what you got to do with Green. Moves in very quickly, takes him over across the rope, decides to use a little of the dream tactics, and drops his chin right over that rope, slides out. Look at this. Whoa! Did he tag it? He did indeed. He slid right out of the ring and popped him with that right fist. And uh, don't forget, Brian Christopher invented some of these moves himself. Oh, look out. Oh, big mistake. Big mistake. Brian came off the top rope. Green Machine just moved out of the way. And that could cost him the title right there. Exactly the kind of mistake. They can put you out of business as far as having a title when you're in there with somebody as capable as the Dream Machine. Dream takes him again with a right hand. A referee warns him about the use of the fist. You know how that complies with the rain off of a duck's back. He couldn't care less. Put to the midsection, and Christopher is on his knees. Brian Christopher in trouble. The USWA heavyweight title at stake. Brian's back on his feet in the corner. Dream Machine right after him. Dream Machine pulls back the right fist and let him have it. The Dream drags him out by the hair, and now he goes with a double chop right across the carotid artery each side of the neck. Goes in for a cover, gets a one and two, and that's as close as we were to the title changing hands to the Dream, a two count. 
Green Machine has him up on the shoulder. Where's he going with him? He's just going to power slam in there. And Brian Christopher finding the going tough with his title at stake. Green Machine up on the middle rope. He springs halfway across the ring, and can you believe it? Green made almost the same mistake that Brian did. What and was he thinking? He was so far back, too, Dave. That thing, he was more than halfway across the ring. Christopher coming in, takes advantage, pounds away on him. The referee now trying to get him back off of there. Uh-oh. Here comes Gilbert. Here come the Eliminators. Referee calls for the bell. Thank you very much, Eddie Gilbert. You just messed up another good match. And with that Singapore caning stick, he's wailing away on Brian Christopher as the Eliminators held him down. Out of the ring, it's got to be a win by disqualification for Brian Christopher. And the belt will not change hands. Brian will still be the USWA title holder, but he cannot be at all happy about the way the thing ended up there, especially with Gilbert jumping in there, and uh, they just ganged up on him with the Eliminators. Bet you Doug Gilbert had something to do with that, too, since the Eliminators made their appearance. Gary Lawler checking Brian out. He, he appears to be okay, although uh, certainly staggering and stunned. But uh, I think what Brian will say later, when he has a moment or two to recover, is the important thing is he still does have the title. We've got a U.S. ladies match still to go right here on today's show. Be back in a moment.